Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. Today I'm going to talk about Velvet Buzzsaw, which is a Netflix original film, and I have a conspiracy theory now that they somehow own John Malkovich's soul because this is the second Netflix original that he's been in, which I'm not complaining because I love him, but seems a little suspect. The movie pretty much is about uh, the art world and the buying and selling of sometimes in my opinion, dumb stuff, but very forward and visionary pieces of art to very, very rich people. And also, you know, getting them on the museum circuit, getting everything around. There is an altercation between one of the um, very well-renowned art sellers. And I believe she she's some kind of employee. I don't think she's a, an assistant, but... She's told pretty much that her job is on the chopping block until she kind of steps her game up and makes things happen because she's not having a great time in her personal life and it is spilling over into her professional life. There's also a character who is an art critic, Morph, who has a very strange relationship with said person on uh, Thin Ice, Josephina. Um, weird. But they're, they're very close. They're sometimes lovers and definitely in cahoots with all of their art uh, critiques and selling. And there's, there's a whole thing that goes into that, but whatever. So Josephina unfortunately finds one of the tenants in her building has passed away in the hallway. And we meet his cat and the cat's very cute. So as you do after someone passes away in your apartment building, you then go in after kind of being tipped off by one of the maintenance guys. Hey, there's a bunch of art in there and uh, said dead guy really wanted it to all be destroyed. So then you, you know, Josephina goes and steals it all. And there's something about it that really piques her interest and really draws her in perhaps something supernatural. It is supernatural. So, steals all of Dees, the deceased's, art, and uh, after being threatened by her boss, decides to start showing it and selling it. It's kind of coincidental at this point that people are starting to die to the outside looker, as we have, you know, the storyline going on, we can kind of follow that there is something wrong with these paintings and they are influencing the way that people are being picked off and dispatched. I'm just going to leave it there. What did I like about this movie? I am an artist, so I definitely appreciate um, kind of the, the way that people interact with each other because you definitely know a lot of people that are just complete a-holes when it comes to critique and judging other people and art is so subjective and it's really you know you like it or you don't like it and if someone's gonna write something real mean about you you kind of have to take that with a grain of salt but we we all know these pretentious characters gotta have them i enjoyed that uh where the subject matter came for Deese's art he had a really messed up life there was a strange happening around the death of his mother and sister, I believe, a fire that may not have been an accident, and then, of course, the death of Deese's father, and there's a big chunk of time that's missing from this artist's life where we find, you know, maybe he was incarcerated or maybe he was in a mental hospital, and the amount of torture and pain that goes into his art is what makes it so good, but also makes it so, uh supernatural. They also find that, and this isn't a spoiler, there is the artist's own blood or someone's blood in the paintings. Because this isn't a spoiler because it was in the trailer. And also, I don't feel like that's such a taboo thing because I personally know artists that put their own blood into their own paint. It's not that weird to me. I think it's kind of cool, but that's me and I'm a little creepy. I feel like the effects for this movie were pretty good for what we got. There isn't, like, a huge gore fest, but the things that happen that you would want gore, there's enough that they show. Could they have shown more? For my liking, of course. 
but not everyone's a huge gore hound and maybe you just get overwhelmed by that. What did I not like about this movie? Uh, there's a lot of interpersonal relationship stuff that I could have honestly done without, but I do understand that it helps drive the story and these people function completely different than anyone I know with how quick they are to jump in each other's beds and just chop off relationships right in the middle and not really care what the other person thinks. But again, these are very cutthroat people that are doing what they got to do to climb to the top or crawl their way to the top or something. But I mean, it's not necessarily marketed as a strictly horror movie. It's more thriller, paranormal type thing. Not so much blood and guts everywhere. So, you know what I prefer. But, I mean, I had a good time watching it. I really like the cast. As I said before, John Malkovich is in it. And he's awesome, as usual. I felt that Jake Gyllenhaal did a really good job with his character. He wasn't too over the top. And his reactions to things were really believable. I, He's a good actor, you know. I would rate this probably like a 2.5 out of 5. It was a good watch. I don't know if I'd watch it again just because it is pretty long. I think it was close to two hours. And Mama's got a short attention span. But I did have fun watching it. I would recommend it. You know, check it out, especially if you're an artist because you can kind of commiserate with how I felt about the characters and the type of people they are. So, as I said, this is a Netflix exclusive, so you have, if you have Netflix, give it a shot. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Did you kind of get the same vibe I did? Do you mix your blood in with your paint when you are creating? Leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Leave a comment as I said, like the video if you did enjoy it, and hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on the Farsighted Network. We are on iTunes. We have our own channel now, which is super, super awesome, and thank you guys so much. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And I'm feeling pretty inspired, so maybe I'll paint something other than my face. See you later, guys. Thank you.